Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. We are continuing our discussion on blistering disorders of skin. Just obviously skin may blisters panenge. And today we have to cover dermatitis herpetiforme. Uh, jaise baki humne blistering disorders mein baat ki thi ki they have autoimmune etiology. Dermatitis herpetiforme is also an autoimmune problem and it is basically associated with gluten sensitivity. Now, can you think of a disease where gluten sensitivity is related to celiac disease? Okay. Now, what happens? It is characterized by extremely pruritic grouped vesicles and papules. So, this is how you differentiate this from pemphigus vulgaris and bullous pemphigoid. The disease affects predominantly males often in the third and the fourth decades of their life up to 80 percent of the cases are associated with celiac disease i already told you this is the big name whenever you consider gluten sensitivity conversely only a small fraction of patients with celiac disease develop dermatitis herpetiformis so, so if you are looking at a patient with dermatitis herpetiforme most of them will have 80 percent of them will have celiac disease but if you look at a patient with celiac disease only a small percentage of them will have dermatitis herpetiforme. Now, if we look at pathogenesis, the strong association of dermatitis herpetiforme with celiac disease provide its clue to the diagnosis because if they are talking about skin issues, uh, grouped vesicles and uh, extremely pruritic, and that is also associated with celiac disease, that's a hint towards the diagnosis of dermatitis herpetiforme. Okay. Genetically speaking, predisposed individuals develop IgA antibodies. This is also a distinction from the previous disorder. When we talked about pemphigus vulgaris and bullous pemphigoid, ki ki, par jo antibodies thi, they were the IgG antibodies. But now we are talking about IgA antibodies. right? And um, uh, the IgA antibodies cross-react with endomysium and tissue transglutaminase. So that is also a common thing with the... Um, uh, celiac disease pathology. These antibodies also cross react with epidermal transglutaminases which are expressed by the keratinocytes. So because the antibody cross react with a lot of different similar proteins that's why it causes different symptoms. Symptoms in the GI tract because similar proteins are there so IgA attacks in the intestine. Similar proteins are in the keratinocyte IgA attack the keratinocytes as well. Okay. So IgA, remember this is an important one. And the type of blister that we see here is also sub-epidermal blister. And this is also going to be a tight blister. But the differentiation in dermatitis herpetiforme from um, bullous pemphigoid would be the fact that they occur in group and they are small vesicles, right? The lesion of the dermatitis herpetiforme, they are usually bilateral also. They are symmetric. They are grouped. Uh, they preferentially involve the extensive surfaces so you can kind of typically tell and there will be a patient with history of celiac disease so you can easily tear them apart uh, the two different disorders okay initially the neutrophils um, accumulate selectively at the tips of the dermal papilla forming micro abscesses this is also a characteristic feature of um, uh, what we call dermatitis herpetiformis. So there is a diagram to show this as well. Let me find the diagram for you. So 2413, this is explaining dermatitis herpetiforme. And uh, let me see where are the micro abscesses in diagram C. At the tip of the dermal papilla, you see neutrophilic infiltration. This is what is called, uh, this is the dermal papilla, so micro abscesses. That is also characteristic of dermatitis herpetiforme. You see on both surfaces, they are symmetrical. And these lesions are very different from bullous pemphigoid okay and they are sub epidermal blisters right so uh, pretty um, interesting and pretty important for your examination purposes all the blistering disorders so we are basically done with the blistering disorders and to summarize the disorders they are classified based on the level of the epidermis that is affected so um, they are mostly caused by autoantibodies and there is acantholysis involved, so keratinocytes separate from each other. Pemphigus involves an IgG antibody against uh, uh, desmoglines, which is part of the desmosome. Bullous pemphigoid involves hemidesmosome, which is at the level of the basement membrane, causing subepidermal blister. And dermatitis herpetiforme involves IgA antibody, also causing subepidermal blister, but the blisters are grouped, they are bilateral, they are symmetric. Very important for you to differentiate between different types of blistering disorders. So all the very best for your exams.